In a combination of art and science, forensic artists and law enforcement officials from all over the world came together to fine-tune their skills in a forensic age progression workshop held at USF. We are uh, just another tool for law enforcement to use to help catch the bad guys. Forensic artist Joe Mullins from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children led the training and focused on the methods used to create forensic composites by hand and on a computer. It's all about that, that, that spark. So there's not for the process of age progression, there's not one feature, yet it's just maintaining all the features because all those features make up that individual. Forensic artists draw on a computer tablet utilizing specific tools within the Photoshop program. By adding layers, a composite image can be reconstructed. In order to identify and distinguish unique, recognizable characteristics and translate them to the page, artists also need precise skills sketching with a pencil. I think it's a good trigger. I think a lot of us do remember things visually, so it's, it's a great aspect in any case. Police dispatcher Kelly Fergozzi traveled here from San Francisco to work on her drawing skills. The composite images can be helpful to law enforcement in numerous ways and oftentimes be a crucial piece in solving cold cases. USF assistant professor Aaron Kimmerly helped bring the workshop to USF in 2007 so anthropology students could build their skills alongside professionals and apply those methods in their own field work. Well, there's a number of different ways in which the methods that are taught here are used. Um, the way in which we use them in our lab are facial approximation. So when there's an unidentified person that needs an identity and you want to start with what did they look like in hopes that somebody will recognize them, that's one way to do it. And that's our link here at USF. In the class drawing exercise, students sketched a celebrity and attempted to hold on to those unique characteristics to see if their peers would pick up on them. I had Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> and how do you think she turned out? She turned out okay. I, to be honest, I didn't really know who it was when I was first drawing it until, you know, he triggered and said that's who it was. The right person still has to see these images, so ha having the media available and the recent, like I said, technology base, getting that, that picture out to many eyes as possible, maybe the right person will see it and make that phone call. And with a bit more practice, these law enforcement artists will become experts on capturing those features those details that may be the key to solving crimes.